how to convert disk partition styles from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. As you can see guys, I currently have this PC application open and I'm viewing my devices and drivers of which I have two. The first one is my Windows C drive and to the right hand side here is my backup D drive. For today's video, I'm going to be changing the partition style of the disk which has my backup D drive partitioned on it. To do this, the first thing we're going to need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to the Windows Star icon and right click on it. Do not left click, you need to right click. Once done, look for where it says disk management and left click on it. Once done, the disk management application will open, maximize the window. At the top here, you can see a table of all your disks and their partitions. At the bottom here, you can see a more visual representation of those disks and their partitions. The first disk here is disk O, and as you can see, it has three partitions and it has a Windows C drive partition. Underneath is disk one, which has a single partition, and that is the backup D drive. And of course, guys, as we said at the start of the video, we're going to be changing the partition style for the disk that has the backup up D drive partitioned on it and that disk is disk 1. To change the partition style of disk 1 we first need to find out what the current partition style is. To do that simply right click on disk 1 so I'm just going to right click on it here. Once you've done that navigate to where it says properties and left click on it. A new window will open. You'll then be in the general tab of your selected disks properties. At the very top look for where it says volumes. As you can see guys it's right here. Simply left click on it. Once done navigate to where it says partition style and as you can see the partition style for disk one is master boot record or MBR for short. Once you've got your partition style guys you can close out of this window. To change the partition style of disk one from MBR to GPT the first thing we're going to need to do is to delete all the partitions on our disk. As you can see guys we only have one partition on our disk one and that is the backup D drive. To unpartition the backup D drive simply right click on it and then left click on delete volume. Once you've done that a warning window will pop up which says delete simple volume. Deleting this volume will erase all data on it. Back up any data you want to keep before deleting. Do you want to continue? Left click on yes. Once done, the volume will be unpartitioned. You'll need to repeat this process if you have multiple partitions on a single disk. Once your disk is free of partitions, it should look like this with a black line and right underneath where it says your disk's storage, it will say unallocated. The next thing we'll need to do is navigate to where it says disk one here and right click on it. Once you've done that guys, scroll down to where it says convert to GPT disk. If your disk's partition style is already GPT and you want to convert it to MBR then when you right click on your disk and look to where it says convert it will say convert to MBR disk instead of convert to GPT disk. Of course guys my disk is an MBR disk and I want to convert it to GPT. To do that conversion process I'm simply going to left click on convert to GPT disk. Once done guys your disk will now be converted to the new partition style. To check your new partition style simply right click on the disk and then go back to properties. Once you've done that, left click on volumes and navigate to where it says partition style. And as you can see now guys, it says GUID partition table GPT, which means the conversion from MBR to GPT was successful. I'm now going to close out of this window here. The last thing we need to do is to partition our newly converted GPT disk. To do this, simply right click on the unallocated volume and left click on new simple volume. Once you've done that guys, the new simple volume wizard will open. Welcome to the new simple volume wizard. This wizard helps you create a new simple volume on a disk. A simple volume can only be on a single disk. To continue, click next. So I'm just going to click next here. Specify volume size. Choose a volume size that is between the maximum and minimum sizes. Maximum disk space in megabytes is 476923. Minimum disk space in megabytes is 8. Simple volume size in megabytes should match the maximum disk space. Left click on next. Assign the following drive letter. I'm going to leave it as D guys. You can change it if that's something you'd like to do. Again, I'm going to leave it on D and I'm going to left click on next. Format partition. To store data on this partition, you must format it first. Choose whether you want to format this volume and if so, which setting you want to use. Format this volume with the following settings. File system, I'm going to leave it as NTFS. Allocation unit size, again, I'm going to leave it as default. Volume label, I'm just going to change the name here to what I had before, which was backup. Perform a quick format, 
I'm going to leave that check marked as I have already formatted this SSD previously. If it's your first time formatting your disk, then you should uncheck mark perform a quick format. Again, guys, I've already formatted this SSD previously, so I'm going to check mark this. Enable file and folder compression. I'm going to leave uncheck marked as I would like to keep the native sizes for my files in an uncompressed format. Left click on next. Once done, guys, you'll be brought to the final page of the new simple volume wizard, which gives you a summary of all the settings you have chosen for your new disk partition. Once you're happy with these settings, simply left click on finish. Your disk will then be formatted according to the settings you have chosen. Once the formatting has been completed, your new partition will open. As you can see guys, I'm in the backup D drive now. And if I navigate to where it says this PC, you can see under devices and drives, we still have two drives. On the left is our Windows C drive here, and to the right is our backup D drive, which now has a new GPT partition style, which we converted from MBR. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to convert disk partition styles from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.